Good morning. It's Ken Weldon from Camp Jubilee. I am on the side of Interstate 95 South. I was heading to Charleston this morning for a couple of meetings. We are excited about what the Lord's doing at Camp Jubilee. The first thing that we needed was to find Justin Johnson a place to live, and the good people of St. Helena's Beaufort rallied around him to do that and provide that. He's our camp director. The next thing we needed for Justin and Katie and their family was health insurance and life insurance and, and retirement benefits. The good people of Old St. Andrews, West Ashley with Marshall Huey rallied around to do that. Uh, recently, uh, I, I, we, we needed to raise part of Justin and Katie's salary. I'm still being paid by the diocese and uh, the people of the cathedral in Charleston with Pete Dickinson. Uh, our Savior, John Zylem with Carl Burns and Trinity Edisto with Way Camp rallied around and made a commitment of three years of, uh, to, to do that. The other people that joined that are some people down in the Grand Strand, Jason Collins at St. Paul's Conway, um, Chance Perdue at Trinity Myrtle Beach, and Gary Beeson uh, and all of the people of uh, Prince George Winya. So I was at standing committee on Tuesday and Gary Beeson said, you should do a five minute video, Ken, telling people what you need. The next thing Justin and I need to do Camp Jubilee, being on the road, traveling, towing kayaks, going to raise money, talking about this great ministry, is we need two vehicles. We've found the vehicles we need. They're both select pre-owned trucks, crew cabs that can tow kayaks, tow trailers all over the place, but that are roadworthy to get on roads like this and go to meetings and appointments to fundraise and talk about this amazing thing that God is doing. So we are asking you to partner with us and maybe make a donation to help us buy two trucks. They're going to cost about $30,000 each and no amount. We're not getting that kind of truck with car carriers on it. I do not need an orange Camaro on the back, though I would drive it. Go Tigers. Um, anyway, Gary Beeson said make a video, so that's what I'm doing. We're excited about y'all partnering with us. Um, here we are on the side of the road. Just to illustrate the point, and I promise you cannot make this up, the vehicle that I'm driving is an 89 Toyota Land Cruiser. It's a classic, it's old, and I love it. But it's not great on the interstate highways. It's a little too old to be going 80 miles an hour all over hell in half of Georgia. Justin's car is a borrowed Honda Accord that he's bothering, borrowed from his mother-in-law, and I think it's maybe a 94 but we need two vehicles. I'll show you my vehicle now, just cause I love it and I'm proud of it. This is my Toyota Land Cruiser. I'm on the side of the interstate highway. You may ask, Ken, did you just stop and are you filming yourself with a selfie stick and yet have both of your hands available? No, here's what happened to me at six o'clock this morning, rain pouring, cars driving fast on I-95. As Mr. Rogers used to say, for those of you old enough, Come along and look. Come. Look here. I've been here since 6.30. I didn't cook breakfast because the pots and pans would have awakened my wife at five o'clock. She doesn't like this. Here are the remains of my breakfast. You can't make this up. God is good. Come partner with us at Camp Jubilee. We need two trucks. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Denman Isgit, who I called in Summerton. He came to pick me up. Good morning. Denman, what do you have to say about somebody that would call you at 6.30 in the morning in the pouring down rain? I think we need to help Camp Jubilee find their vehicles. God bless y'all. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>